بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد أي الله بتف في الله إسلام is just أهل السنة is just the مذهب the سلف is just the سلفيون are just we're not just saying in name but we're saying those people who truly practice practice كتاب الله وسنة الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم with understanding the سلف then they fear Allah سبحانه وتعالى and what they're doing when they make when they criticize individuals, they're fearing Allah. When they pray, pray uh, Salat, they're fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When they are giving sadaqah and charity, they're fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When the holy month of Ramadan comes and they're fasting, they're fasting for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, trying to have taqwa in their life. As this is what Ramadan is legislated for. Ahabatifillah, this takes fiqh fi deen. It takes understanding fi deen. To understand these principles, Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah ta'ala mentioned in Aqidah to Wasatiyah that Ahl Sunnah is the most just. Arham al-Nas bi, bi, uh, Arham al-Nas bi nas or Arham al-Nas bi khal, kama qala uh, Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah ta'ala, letting us know that the meta, part of the minhaj of Ahl Sunnah, part of the minhaj of the Salaf is being just. It just even in criticizing Ahl Bid'ah. Even if you're talking about a, a, an Ashari, a Diobandi, a Naqshbandi, uh, this one or that one or whoever, a Hizbi of any sort, that you're just. You can't lie about them. You can't curse them. You can't speak about them, uh, about their characteristics or what have you and give them Al-Qab. That's not befitting. But rather, deal with them with Elm. If you have Elm and you can, Alhamdulillah. If you don't have Elm, be quiet. Be quiet. And I want to give an end with this beautiful statement. And Jazallah Khairan to those who uh, the site Gifts of Knowledge, uh, giftsofknowledge.net, where this very beneficial translation of what Imam, one of our mash Mashaykh, Shaykh Mukbil bin Hadi al Wadi'i, Allah Yarhamahu, wa yaskinahu fi Jannah, what he said, a very beautiful statement. Letting us know the just. And he was known for criticizing Ahl Bidah, being mutashiddin al Ahl Bidah. He criticized him very harshly. The Hezbeen were scared of him, Imam Muqbil. And some they hated him. Some they, tr they tried to kill him how many times? But Imam Muqbil was definitely just. Doesn't mean he, doesn't make he didn't make mistakes. That's not what we're saying. No one is free from mistakes. The Prophet said, Kul ibn Adam khata wa khayra khatayin tawabun. But Imam Muqbil urged you to be just, even in your criticizing of individuals, and even when the haq is against you. This is the, the Ibra. This is beautiful. Listen to what Imam Muqbil said, which is much better than what I'm saying. Qala Imam Muqbil, the Imam of Yemen, Muqbil bin Hadi al-Wadi'i, Allah yarhamahu. He said, Indeed in his noble book, Allah Azza wa Jal says, O you who believed, be persistently standing firm in justice, Witnesses for Allah, even if it be against yourselves or parents and relatives, whether one is rich or poor, Allah is more worthy of both. So follow not personal inclination, lest you not be just. And if you distort your testimony or refuse to give it, then indeed Allah is ever with uh, ever uh, uh, over what you do, or ever acquainted with what you do. And that's Surah Nisa. And he Ta'ala, so he subhanahu wa ta'ala said, O oh, you have believed, <coughs> be persistently standing firm for Allah, witnesses in justice, and do not let the hatred of a people prevent you from being just. Be just, that is nearer to righteousness, and fear Allah. Indeed, Allah is acquainted with what you do. Surah Al Ma'idah. And he subhanahu wa ta'ala said, and do not let the hatred of a people for having obstructed you from al-masjid al-haram lead you to transgress. And cooperate in righteousness and piety, but do not cooperate in sin and aggression and fear Allah. Indeed, Allah is severe in penalty. And he, subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Indeed, Allah orders justice and good conduct and giving to relatives and forbids immorality and bad conduct and oppression. He admonishes you that perhaps you will be reminded. And he, subhanahu wa ta'ala said, and when you speak, testify or be just, even if it concerns a near relative. Then Imam Muqbil, rahmatullahi said, Ahl Sunnah are the ones who have the most right and the greatest share of these verses 
and these proofs similar to them. For if they are right, they, uh, for if they write, they write with what is for them and against them. And if they talk, they mention what is for them and against them. They stick to justice, whether dealing with those who are close to them or distant, whether an enemy or a friend. And if you were to look at the books of Jarwa Ta'adil, you will find that they are the epitome of justice. They will disparage a man if he disturbs such jar, even if he were one of the heads of the Sunnah. And they will praise a person of innovation with the good that he has if there is a need for that, contrary to the people of desires. For they will praise whoever agrees with their innovations, even if he is worthless. And they will vilify whoever opposes them, even if he were one of the heads of the religion. Ahabati fillah. Those statements stand alone. And the Shaykh began, which was always his, his, uh, his saluk, that he dealt with things, he would deal with things always with kitab Allah, and then he would come with sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Have an imam muqbil, Allah yarhamahu. I love that man. Why? Because he used to have the, whenever I listen, even listen to a tape of his, or what have you, or when I reflect on the limited time I had to sit with that imam, I, I remember the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If I feel sad or shubahat comes to me, I listen to that. It strengthens me because that imam called the sunnah and he was pious and he didn't care. And as he mentioned, that you have to speak the truth even if it goes against you. Even if no, you know uh, you, you're, you're criticizing your brother who's from Ahlul Sunnah, but you're criticizing with truth and justice and balance for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because it needed to be. And with Ahlul Bidah, that even if Ahl Bidah, you know uh, Imran Hussein, or this one, or that one, whoever, you know that he spoke the truth in this issue, or some of the haq is with him, that you're just and balanced. That you don't, you can't say everything he says is battle, or everything uh, about him is battle, unless that were the truth. So Ahabat al the shahid is to be justice, to be just and to practice justice. And may Allah bless us to be just. And may Allah forgive us for all of our sins and the many times we've oppressed people, oppressed our families, oppressed our neighbors, oppressed our uh, 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 people in and outside of the religion. Oppression, ahabati billah, is something Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't, doesn't, he hates. And Allah loves the muqsateen. Allah loves those people who are just. And may Allah make us just and forgive me for anything I said that was incorrect. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jal. And may Allah bless the translators of this. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless the one who forwarded this to me. And may Allah forgive us of our many sins. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.